If you think that gender is never a question for you, cookie adopter's word that you are M or F only, pronounced at birth, delivered, signed, sealed forever, accepting that for every mood and moment you can only ever be binary, nothing in between, no room to shift, never seeing the walls built so long ago they've always looked like the horizon. I had my coming out and full-on realisation on August 22nd last year. I'm 22, I'm pubescent again. I, I can do foundation, I can do lipstick. And I, I still like girls, I'm, I'm a lesbian. I can do mascara, anything like involving eyeshadow, or especially eyeliner. I might as well just rub cigarette ash <laughs> in my face. Well, I'm getting PMS now. That wouldn't have happened without the net. I'd be dead from bullying, or boredom, or worse. Facebook's been going off the last 24 hours. Duct tape my boobs together. I, I do I do like kind of throwing it in some people's face, especially when they can't handle it. I do have the mind of a girl at this point. Like it's like your your brain is the the first thing to change on estrogen. I knew when I decided to be trained that I was gonna do it on the island. It was gonna be great because everyone here has known me my entire life and no one was gonna bash me. A lot of people have been really accepting, really cool, really curious. Because this isn't just my transitions, actually everyone who knows me has their own part to play. I didn't expect anyone to just instantly change and switch and be perfect the second I told them. Because everyone's seen me grow up, they've seen, they've known me my entire life, their idea and their perception and their mental image of me is set in stone and it is so hard to change that image and say, no, I'm not that boy you've bloody bounced on your knee when I was a couple of months years old or changed my nappy or whatever. I'm I'm a girl. When puberty started and high school started, sexual tensions, sexuality, all that stuff kicked in and I'd say there's something very not right with the way my life was starting to go. Can we do the suck on my lips thing? What? I changed my name from, from Alex to Xander. I knew about 50 different Alexes and I turned my head all the time because I was hearing my name and it was never referring to me. In most transgender cases, the person knew that they were the wrong gender from a very young age, at about four or five, they knew. I'm not one of those knew they were a woman trapped inside a man since they were a kid types. I do miss Alex, the boy that I knew and loved as a kid. It all started to change when he got to high school, started getting bullied and picked on. I hated that school. Idiots giving me crap, having a conscience for being different. Trying to be a man. What bullshit. So I failed male, smoked more weed, stayed inside, stopped caring or bothering about anything. When I started going to university, I started to meet some really cool people. I think that's kind of when it sort of clicked. Uh, I, I actually don't like being a guy. I don't like portraying myself as masculine. I don't, I don't like the expectation put on me being a boy or a man. I was never really a girly boy. When I was emotional and I uh, wasn't sporty or masculine. In all the years of us growing up together, we never had any of those feminine tendencies. The proof of the pudding will be in how he, she, <laughs> sorry then, gets beyond just this surface form and finds what she has to give. My childhood and teenage years might have actually been a lot more outwardly feminine if I wasn't so much into my nerd world and my Warhammer and my video games, which I just I totally sank and immersed myself into the exclusion of reality, really, because just reality was too hard, it was too abrasive, it was too hurtful. Because she's got, got a clinical background and she's a psychologist, she sort of looks at him and just sees all these clinical problems, like you know, anxiety. She has all these labels and freaks out and goes, oh my god, he's so dysfunctional, and so she kind of overcompensates and mothers him. The depression's gone, the social anxiety's gone, social dysphoria, all the rest of it. I'm pretty out there and much more extroverted than I was before. Before I was a very introverted little boy. The shrinks all stuck with mum, expected me to cross-dress for a year before prescribing estrogen, like I couldn't get it online. It's changed the family dynamic. I was under the impression that Alex was possibly going through some sort of escapism of just not really dealing with life and felt that he needed to work on life skills and independence and that would improve his mood. No, but I don't understand now that I've swapped over to Zandra, you've gone back to calling me Alex, which I hate. It just 
that word brings me back to my dark period of my oh, life. Well, I, that's an expression of my I don't care. I hate it. it, 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 it it's a know, slap like in my, my face. 13 Alex, months since I came out. I think, to the day. I Today think Alex is, is actually 13 being months. a little bit punishing. You, you want me to be happier? Stop calling me Alex because I hate it. A lot of this transition may be coming from a deep unrest about himself and really not liking who he was and thinking, well, how can I turn into a new person? Kind of take some pills and you can turn into a new person without really putting in a huge amount of blood and sweat. Some of the side effects, allergy, rash, like swelling of the face, lips, mouth, throat, 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 breath, wheezing, contactions in body weight, irregular heart, gestures, nausea, vomiting, visual disturbances such as eyes, muscle muscle double vision, headaches, migraines, tumours, blood clotting and stroke. I'd rather be a trans girl and risk all the tumours and discrimination than plummet back into that old, deep, anxious darkness. I still like girls, so uh, what's the point in getting rid of my penis? It might come in handy someday. <laughs> when you look at yourself in the mirror when you're naked? I love the little guy. Sure he's a dickhead sometimes, but me and the little prick have been through a lot together. It'd be a shame to just discard him. <laughs> <laughs> so you sort of personified your penis? I don't know, maybe he was, <laughs> Maybe, you know, when I was a, a woman trapped in a man's body, uh, uh, you know, it was in my head, but now I'm a, now there's a little man trapped in a woman's body and he's down there just going, hey, don't forget about me. No, um, I don't think I'm personified, I don't name him or anything like that, but, um... Maybe that could be Alex. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not referring to my penis as Alex. <laughs> no. Well, I'm strong. Happy now. And you can't stop me from my weird contentment. My joy will triumph. My trans girl mind is open to love more every day. What's in my blouse? Alright, let's go get the party started. <laughs>